Next up, we are discussing the decision of Cineworld in Bolton to pull a film about the daughter of the Prophet Muhammad entitled The Lady of Heaven. After more than 100 people protested outside the cinema, other cinemas have been quick to follow suit. The protesters regard the film as blasphemous and the Bolton Council of Mosques welcomed the decision to pull the film. But many local residents were unhappy at the protests, regarding them as aggressive and overly intimidating. So with me to debate this is Dr. Sheikh Ramzi, Imam and Director at the Oxford Islamic Information Centre, and Malik Schlibeck, the executive producer of the controversial film The Lady of Heaven. Thank you both for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, Dr. Sheikh Ramzi, I want to come to you first. Yes. Obviously, it's a very emotional topic and people are, are, are very upset about the film. Can you explain in your own words what is it about this film in particular uh, that upsets you? Um, the falsehood of that, the first, because I believe uh, not a, a, a little bit of a truth is in there and, uh, and uh, we cannot accept which what is, is, is especially, especially in theology, uh, theological uh, or Islamic, we cannot uh, believe and of course we cannot feed uh, especially good British people a uh, falsehood. This is wrong. It's so, very important. It's wrong. Yes. Uh, so it's your, uh, it's, it's your concern that it is a historically inaccurate portrayal uh, of... Com completely wrong falsehood. No, it's not a matter of inaccurate. It's a falsehood. They made uh, this one. I believe, of course, b before... Uh, before I said, I have to say, God bless you all. I didn't say that, uh, you know, you pushed me into that. But uh, God bless you all. And may Allah bless you all. You are good people of God. What I would like to say, firstly, I'm not against uh, any Shia sect. I, I like both together. I like all of them together. I serve humanity. I serve humanity for 40 years. I serve humanity from, from the, from the United Nations uh, to, to the lowest. This is, this is my job. I serve humanity. But, but true important. True is important. Again, I believe this film is spreading falsehood. Okay, falsehood. And then I tell you, of course, I, I looked at the minute, a couple of days ago, we were again, again on, on air. But I tell you one, one thing is here. One thing is here, which I looked at the one minute. One minute. A mother, I looked at the, a mother. You, you decide. You decide, and of course, the audience which, which, which are looking. You decide. But a mother telling the, a story, bad stories to the son. To the son, he says, my darling, and what sort of a story, but the story is that which, which he, he got the film, of course, uh, putting, um, uh, uh, fighting, uh, burning, uh, um, attacking the little, little uh, young, of course, the Fatima was very young, young teenager, young teenager burning and, and destroying. Destro right, so and he says, allow me to say it, and he says, he says, remember, remember, remember that that means he is trying to make him against the Sunnis. OK, so I'm going to have to bring in Malik, yeah. Malik at this point, because it sounds to me like there, there are various issues here regarding the representations within the film. This yeah. is, appears to be what is upsetting you. How do you respond to the, to the accusation that the way in which these historical figures are being portrayed is offensive <laughs> to, to both those figures and the people who uh, have so much faith in them? Yeah, sure. Thanks for having me on. Uh, I'm not sure I understood it, a word Dr. Sheikh said respectfully. I don't know if you did. Uh, but uh, I would like to first start by just mentioning, uh, you know, hats off to the UK, go the UK government for uh, sacking the, uh, the advisor, official <coughs> advisor for uh, uh, supposedly for Islamophobia, uh, Qari Asim, which just happened yesterday. Uh, so hats off to them. That's a clear message that this kind of rhetoric isn't permitted in this country and we won't tolerate can, can, it. Can you just explain a bit more? The, 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 the film, there have been, Muslim people are involved in the making of this film. Yeah. So what is, what is precisely the objection? So to answer your question, you asked me you know, about this offence and, and, and what's going on here. I mean, the issue is, and this is why I want Dr. Uh, Dr. Sheikh to understand here, uh, the truth and the reality of the matter, Doctor, is that your beliefs actually offend me, and they offend uh, hundreds of millions of uh, Muslims. Uh, I, what, what hundred, finish, what finish, hundred million uh, more Muslims are you talking about? I, one at a time. Can one I express? Time. You've had your time, if I can please it, express myself. I will come to you, don't worry. This is a reality. You might not disagree. You, in your bubble, it might not be a truth, but I can clarify for you and I can tell you that hundreds of millions... It's, it's not true at all. Hundreds, no, please. hundreds of millions of Muslims uh, disagree and are offended by your beliefs. But, but, How, where is the hundred... No, but, but please, please let me know. Where Dr. is the hundred millions of people? Well, they have nothing at all in this the country. Reason, we are trying to do in this country is a five sorry, million Muslim. Listen, five million Muslim is that. It has to be one at a time. It has to okay, be one five million. Let me tell, tell you, minute. five million Muslim is here. It, uh, sorry, three million Muslim is here, and ten percent is a Shia. Three hundred thousand, and we have a hundred, hundred and twenty thousand. Sorry, I don't. Hundred and twenty thousand. Okay. Hundred and twenty thousand.
reason we have uh, um, uh, um, 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 signature signature on, on the petition which goes to the parliament and parliament made the cancel. We haven't got a blasphemy law here. Is we got the cancellation law? Where is the where is the your petition which right. serves 120 going people? To, going to explain that point. Thank, thank you. Thank Thank you. Yes, please. please. Allow him to finish. Do you, please. Do you know anything about Shia Islam, Doctor? I know. I'm a wait, wait, scholar wait, wait. No, on Shia no, 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 Islam. No, sorry. no, no, no. no. It, you're asking me if you don't know. That's I, I, if I, you I, don't. I would I like if, my other guest to have his say. If you can't. Let him have his say without God interrupting. You. We'll have to terminate the interview. Doctor, Doctor Sheikh, I said... If you know, the morning. I hope you do know, you would know the name Sheikh At-Tulsi. He's a 5th century Shia scholar, one of the biggest names in Shia Islam. All Shia Muslims across the world, no matter how many internal disagreements they may have, they agree on this scholar. <coughs> At-Tulsi from the 5th century, a very cla- uh, classical scholar, he says in his works that the Shia are in a consensus that Abu Bakr and Omar killed Lady Fatima. So it's a mainstream belief of Shia Muslims. We believe that we have a right to express this as our religious beliefs. And why your beliefs offend Shia Muslims is because you be, you believe that Abu Bakr and Umar were the best people to have ever lived. So you, can, can these, people, come in these people have this, killed this, Our Lady Fatima. This Fatima. sounds like we're getting into a, a theological debate. It's, it's, and actually, it's, it's, actually I'm, I'm less interested in that. What I'm interested in is the film in of itself. What would be so wrong, if I can ask, for someone to make a film that uh, is historically inaccurate that represents things okay. that you admire okay. in this way. Okay. Why not just not go and see the film? Why could okay. that not be the end of it? Uh, that's, that's, this, this, this opened, uh, again, I said 120,000 people signed first. And uh, secondly, do you see that, that what I said it before here, it was uh, the bedtime stories which he tell, the mother tell the son is a revenge. Go and get the revenge. You haven't seen it. I told you, they say going to, you, mother, he says, uh, allow me to tell you, my, mother tell the child, mother the child, remember Remember, remember, they burned that, they've done that, they destroyed the, destroyed the woman which his father was dead. And after that, what is happening? What we do here in this, you do not go and tell your child uh, this uh, story at bedtime. If I tell my child, again, I will be, I will, I, I will be abused. That's a child abuse. But again, with, you with tell, respect, you're talking about yeah. the content of the film. And I, I'm, I'm talking I'm, about the content of the film. But yes. I'm asking you a broader question. Even if the content of the film is not accurate or acceptable to you or offensive to you, why can, why can you not just not watch the Okay, film? okay. Now what do we come into this one? Because it's offend again. They are offending even the Fatima, Fatima, the, 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 the uh, lady of heaven, heavenly lady. They are offending her here. We written down. And I am very worried, very worried, which one of the Shia cleric, one of the Shia extreme cleric, all of them, I love them. Why the Shia, they say, come and suddenly come and says, you touching my lady, I'm going to get your lady. Okay. That therefore, can I, can I they're going to damage, one second, uh, one second. they're no, no, going no, no, to no, damage. No, I've got to go to Malik now. now can not, I just ask, don't um, let me to finish it, is it? Into the, is it good? The, one second. Without getting into the theological <laughs> dispute, well, I'm, I'm asking a broader question, which is about, you know, why can't people, if they're offended by the film, just simply not watch the film? This is what I want to address. Yes, um, Rather than the theological yes. niceties. So I wasn't actually speaking about theology. My point was that both sides offend each other, religiously speaking. So mm. in terms of freedom of speech, both parties should be able to respect each other instead of yes. one trying to censor the other, right? It's not a game of who can bully the other more and then that guy, that <coughs> censored. It should be, you know, as we are in Britain, we have freedom of speech. And the only people in the world that haven't accepted this till today are these radicals, to be honest. And uh, the main point I want to put across here is you know, the writer of the film, they call him a hate preacher, as your guest has just done. So the only reason they call him hate preacher is because a couple of decades ago, he actually came out for the first time speaking about his beliefs, which is Abu Bakr and Omar killed the Lady Fatima. So they're saying he's a hate preacher because he uh, doesn't fall in line with what we believe. And now he's a hate preacher again because he's doing a film about his own you, personal do you, beliefs. Do you fear for I mean, at the moment, the protests have been peaceful. Do you fear for any uh, possible ramifications? Some people have found the protest intimidating. I mean, that's for the police to decide and investigate. You know, I personally aren't uh, fearful at all. I believe this is all empty threats. These are sort of, uh, uh, you know, even though I call them radicals, they are a softer version. You know, ISIS will uh, threaten you, <coughs> bully you and, and kill you if you offend them. These groups will, uh, will try to uh, um, uh, threaten violence. I mean, they're a softer version of radicalism. They are on the radical scale, but they're not exactly... Uh, uh, Okay. You know, like ISIS. Can, can I ask you, Doctor? Um, so, do you feel with this film, what would you like to see happen? Would you, you, can I put you a direct question? Yes. Would you like the British government? To ban this film, uh, it's not a matter of banning. The, the British government usually don't ban. The, the British government, the British well, government yes, cancel. We have got, we haven't got the blessed from British government already, already said to cancel it. It is a way which they do. They say we have been threatened. Our, our staff been threatened. No, none of 
No, we are, five years are no, a no, we are, uh, allow me to tell you, allow me to tell you what I am worried here, what I am worried here, which is she a cleric, I don't know, I don't know how to tell you, what I'm, is she a cleric, go and stab the one little woman, he says, you done, you done my lady, I'm going to do your lady, and the lady want to go to the test score, whatever they stab him or damage him, can, that's what I'm worried, with, with respect, and that's though, what I'm saying. You, but, yeah. So you wouldn't like to see the government ban this film? I, it's not a matter of ban, the government cancel it, we got the 120 to 100 20,000 people they signed. I want to see, I want to see, what I want to see, if the government will want to ban or, or not, is up to government which you decide. But the government can cancel that. He says, don't, uh, stop it, uh, stop it. That's the difference. Uh, that's the difference. Uh, that's the difference. Uh, tell the government what is that. We exactly. haven't got the last like We have not, to we have, we don't want the film to be shown. Right. Be, you there know, you know why? Because I said, I am trying to prevent, prevent a, the, a lady, a, a, she, a, a Muslim Muslim lady, uh, uh, um, Sunni lady, get killed because of the one cleric. I respect, I respect she has. that. I respect this that is sentence. what I, I, I want, I, I, and I'm going to stop I, I, it. I, I respect, Malik, I, I, Malik, I, come on. I respect that sentiment. You're saying you want to protect uh, Shia lady from having this problem. So that's, Muslim, she, no, Muslim it's lady, Sunni lady. Sunni, you, Sunni lady, it's not Shia lady. Muslim, non-Muslim, I agree with you to stop any type of violence. But this is what I say to you: the radicals now are claiming and and uh, having this rhetoric of saying you are not allowed to uh, speak about these things, otherwise we will commit violence, sir. Sir, I ask you, sir. Doctor, I ask you, who are you, who are you worried? We doctor, have 120,000, we have the again, 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 again. Off, before we I answer, come here, the question. I ask you, who, who are the ones we are worried about that are committing this violence? I understand, from what I understand, we are I, worried. I understand doctor, she has doctor, doing it. Doctor, you're you're we, telling we, me and I'm telling you. Let's just have the question and then the answer comes. That was a question. I'm saying that I hope, I hope, doctor, I hope that it's the radicals, the fringe radicals that we're worried about committing acts of violence, not the general Muslim population. From as far as I know, as far as I believe, the general Muslim population are peaceful individual people in this country. So if it is just these fringe radicals that we're worried about threatening, committing violence, why is it that you are saying the same thing as these radicals, which is don't speak about these things, other than, otherwise there will be don't violence. Up, if we were really against the radicals, doctor, we would be stamping don't out speak radicals. the radicals. Are we going to you, 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 you cannot, you cannot, allow me to tell you, you cannot, you cannot make the, make make the British people fool. Every they time. are not okay, fool. We, we won't get anywhere. They understand. This is important. They cannot. They can. You want a pack of lies to give them, and it's wrong. Totally wrong, and I support all the British Last sentence, time, last, God bless you. Last sentence, last Are sentence. we going to play whack-a-mole every time a group comes up and speaks about what they believe and these radicals threaten them, or are we going to whack these radicals? We have, we have a freedom of the, okay. Okay. freedom, of, the freedom of expression, but not freedom of insult. You are insulting, insulting the Fatima, so, sir, like, insulting the Fatima. I love the Fatima, and you are insulting it, and it's wrong because you made him. Let, let, let me anger, tell you. Let me tell you for audience. Allow me to tell you. Let me tell the audience. No, his his father, his father. Father was a prophet and a warrior. He was he was a top warrior. Say five or six war he was there. His husband, her husband, her husband was called Asadullah, this the the lion of God. And his this son not, was cut. Uh, uh, let me, let me session, tell you. Sir, no, 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 no what is happening? What? We all understand. We all understand. We all understand. And uh, they, okay. they make it, they make it Sorry, like this. Sorry, guys, we're going to have to put an end to this. Uh, we all understand that you're offended, and we all understand yeah. you expressed your reasons for being offended, but we are evading the point. Yeah. And the point is this. If there was a film uh, that offended me, for instance, should I have the right to say nobody should be able to see that film? Or is it just what offends you? No. What we have here, we have 120,000. Again, you don't understand it. 120,000. We have our signature. It gone to the government, and the government it look at it every five minutes. They see it. Government look 120,000. Let's do something about it. And they right. done something about it. That's my opinion for the government because it. I work with the government. However, and you've expressed however, it very clearly. And I understand yeah. the strength of emotion. Uh, I do understand the people does not want to I see. I would like one final word for for Malik. My one final word is actually yep. for the UK uh, population in general. Uh, this radical rabbit hole is a lot deeper than we realise. For me, anyone who tries to uh, threaten or bully groups to express themselves freely as long as they're staying within the law is, by definition, a radical. 
And these people that I've been debating <laughs> last week on uh, live television are on the radical scale. They're just a softer form of radicalism. OK, well, I think both of you have expressed your views uh, very clearly. The last when, one. when one person was speaking at a time, we were able to kind of get there. And I think this, I think this shows that it's really important to be able to talk yeah. and not just talk over each other. Look, I think a lot of I, the talk over each other is as hard as it goes. That, that's a debate. Somebody who's, says who's that, somebody says that. No, but if the last thing I, I tell you, my brother and sister... Even on live TV. Uh, can I say one, I know one, one live TV? One more point, and then we've got to go yeah. to a break. God go bless you. Now, there's a very, very important thing is that this this one made for revenge, revenge from the from the Shias to the Sunnis, and I am trying to say, please, we want to prevent the kill the little lady get killed in the middle you've of the made, street. You've made and this God point. bless you. That's all I want you to say. The people should know. The people should know is total lie and a false with, is with that. Respect, you and I that point. prove it as a scholar, Islamic scholar. Right. God bless you. Good man, you are. One, one, there we last go. Last statement for my colleague. Thank you, thank you. Where, is, is we have willing, to, I'm afraid we do uh, have village. to go to a break. I'm sure this will go on and on. <laughs> I wasn't planning on resolving this tonight. Let's go. Uh, God bless, God bless.